and welcome back friends to another episode of mnemonics and the easy way to study and this mnemonic video we are going to talk about antibiotic mode of action with some tricks so let's begin without wasting much time so I'll be telling you all the details within five to six minutes duration so the first thing that you need to know about understanding antibiotic mode of action is that we divide this into two different parts. One are all the types of antibiotic except for the protein synthesis inhibitors and then we'll talk about particularly about the protein synthesis inhibitors because they are much bigger zone. So the only thing you need to remember here is a royal story, some sort uh, of royal story which uh, involves an Indian girl named Neetu which is denoted here and a sultan and about some gifts need to bought for sultan which is a beautiful car and a fluid pen and the second part of the story which deals with you in a cell so my life in a cell so pretty weird but definitely help you to remember let's move on the first thing that you need to know is a sentence it's a story regarding Neetu and a sultan and bringing some gifts and that is Neetu met sultan in September with a fluid pen and a car. Now September spelled wrong intentionally. Now what do we mean by all this? So it's Neetu, it's Sultan and Neetu bought a fluid pen and a car to gift it to the Sultan. Now let's look at the actual part so that it makes some sense. Now all the red colored highlight regions are the part of all the antibiotics that we are going to talk about. Remember we are looking at antibiotics except protein synthesis inhibitors. So I also put three separate lines, first regarding need to met and then the Sultan is separated and the rest of the part is separated keeping fluid in a circle. There is a reason behind all this because this red colored highlight regions they, they qualifies for different types of antibiotics and first two that is here are DNA synthesis inhibitors. Uh, and the second one is uh, also a little part of the DNA synthesis but yes. Uh, the second part here deals with uh, tetrahydrofolate synthesis okay and the rest of them uh, they deal with peptidoglycan synthesis inhibition and in the middle they are gyrus inhibition. So this is uh, the simplest thing that I should tell you before going into the details of what we are talking about. Okay, so now let's move on and let's look how we construct it. So first of all, NIT, NIT, it's for nitrofurans. You know what nitrofurans does? They are DNA synthesis inhibitors. Okay, second, MET, metronidazole. Metronidazole, what is the job of metronidazole? Again, DNA synthesis inhibition. SUL, sulfonamides for sultan right thymidine synthesis inhibition or th uh, fh tetrafolate tetrahydrofolate synthesis inhibition as well then cep remember this is september but i spell it wrong because cep for cephalosporine peptidoglycan synthesis inhibitor then flu little different that's why i put it into the circle fluoroquinolones the job dna gyrus inhibitor gyrus is an enzyme that requires uh, to release the uh, DNA supercoil, right? DNA tension of the supercoil. So that's another one. And then penicillin, PN for penicillin. And this is also peptidoglycan synthesis inhibition. And CAR, CAR, carbapenem, also peptidoglycan inhibitor. So you can see, except for fluoroquinolones, rest of the all from SEP, PEN, and CAR, all of them are peptidoglycan synthesis inhibition. Or inhibitors so at the very beginning we can say this first two DNA synthesis the second one also linked with DNA synthesis because pyrimidine synthesis uh, sorry thymidine uh, synthesis and then the rest of the others peptidoglycan except for fluoroquinolones so that's how easy you can easily remember Neetu met Sultan in September with a fluid pen and a car now let's look at protein synthesis inhibitors in details the easy way to remember is to think of my life at cell. That means you are now trapped inside a cell and that is really, really horrible. But how exactly that makes sense? Now you can see the red highlighted regions. Ma, life at cell. So let's look at the very beginning. MA for macrolids or macrolides, whatever you say. Macrolides are protein synthesis inhibitors. 
Then the second one, Li, lincosamides, example, clindamycin, this is the same thing. Then A for aminoglycosides, then T for tetracyclines. Now remember all of this, most of them, except for this uh, lincosamides in this case, rest of them, they always belong to some sort of the protein synthesis inhibitors and you can also divide protein synthesis inhibitors into two different types, 30S inhibitors and 50S inhibitors. Now in this case the aminoglycosides and tetracyclines, these are 30S subunit inhibitors. 30 subunit inhibitors okay and the 50s inhibitors are the second part that is the cell so cell C for clindamycin also a part of lincosamides 50s inhibitors E for erythromycin again 50s inhibitors uh, erythromycin is a kind of macrolides you should remember okay so this is a kind of macrolide so these two parts are also done so these are 50s okay and the last L for linozolid which is also a 50S inhibitor. So while you're talking about my life at cell, the first two, the first segment is a 50S inhibitor and the life and, and also my life, this segment is 50S inhibitor and at is 30S inhibitor. Again cell is 50S inhibitors. So this is how you should remember all the antibiotics and if you remember that, that will definitely help you. Okay. So that's all about the mnemonics to remember all the antibiotics and their role and uh, when they actually work, mode of action. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.